So with this, uh, I, I end my introduction and I invite uh, the next speaker, Dr. Ghulam Ali, to speak about epidemiology of low vision. Thank you, Dr. Sanjeev. Uh, I will cover epidemiology and the principle of uh, low vision in my uh, part. Uh, let's uh, begin with understanding definition and epidemiology of low vision. WHO first defined six categories of uh, visual imp impairment in 1973. Uh, according to them, visual equity in the range of 360 and 618 were considered low vision which cover uh, category one and uh, category two. Uh, because of the some fallacies in the previous definition, a uh, working group of uh, WHO, uh, then uh, WHO met in 1992 and also adopted category three and four to be included as a low vision. So the working definition of low vision is, a person is low vision, if best corrected visual acuity in the better eye is less than 618 to PL or a visual field of less than 10 degree from fixation, but who uses or is potentially able to use vision for the planning or, planning or execution of the task. Uh, people with uh, low vision are legally blind and at the current point in time, there is no surgical and medical treatment available to improve vision and they are eligible for all government benefits made for the visually impaired. According to blind school survey in Jodhpur in 1991, although they are legally blind, but they are not totally blind because they have some residual vision. Looking at uh, residual vision function in such patient, the government of India came up with a functional definition of low vision, which is person with low vision means a person with impairment of visual functioning even after treatment or standard refractive correction, but who uses or is potentially capable of using vision for the planning or execution of the task with appropriate assistive devices. In essence, the low vision is a level of visual disability that causes difficulty in carrying out the everyday tasks. And its consequences are debilitating and include a loss of self-esteem, depression, injury, and mortality, and it incurs a lot of expenses on the patient and on the government. Then the question is, why do so many patients go untreated? Answer is, because there are so many barriers to low vision aid uh, treatment, uh, which can be seen in these slides and so on. Uh, lack of training, lack of awareness about uh, low vision services, non-availability of LVDs, lack of motivation, low vision care is time consuming, uh, most of the ophthalmologists busy in uh, cataract practice and general practice and low vision care is not lucrative. Uh, most of the ophthalmology th uh, thought like that. Low vision services are not effective in helping patients. Uh, a recent study by WHO has demonstrated that there are two, uh, 53 million people are visually impaired, out of which uh, 217 million people are moderate to se uh, severe visually impaired and 36 million people are blind. Uh, this is a global map indicating that the prevalence of low vision in India is 1.6% uh, and it uh, comes under the moderate prevalence uh, country. Uh, if uh, uh, prevalence is less than 1, this is a mild and if one to uh, between 1 to 2 is a moderate. These are the some common causes of low vision like uh, retinitis pigmentosa, degenerative myopia, age related macular degeneration, uh, diabetic retinopathy, optic neuropathy, etc. Uh, this is the end of my uh, first part uh, that is epidemiology and definition. Now I start the, uh, my second part uh, that is principle of the treatment of low vision. Uh, low vision devices assist people in making better use of their vision. And there are three basic principles to increase vision, three or uh, four, uh, uh, sorry, four basic principles to increase vision in low vision patient. One is to increase the definition or sharpness of the image by reflection and spectacle correction. Second one is by increasing illumination. A third by increasing the size of object either physically or by prescribing 
magnification and fourth one is the management of the glare or uh, contrast uh, remember many conditions that cause low vision are progressive and unpredictable so there may be a frequent changes in glasses also people with visual impairment are more prone to falling so if uh, someone uh, prescribe the glasses to the visually impaired patient so we should use the CR39 or PCN glasses uh, because they are uh, non-breakable type of glasses. Refraction is simply way to sharpen the retinal images and it is helpful in about 10% of uh, visually impaired person. As one goes away uh, from the center of the fovea and the visual equity drops, one millimeter from it the visual equity drop uh, uh, Visual equity is only 40% of the center and if uh, we go away 4 millimeter, it is only 20%. It's uh, 636 at the 4 millimeter away from the fovea. The extra foveal retina cannot be interpreted detail of the object with same clarity of the fovea. But even this poor peripheral vision can be used to see if the image was to fall on it. That's exactly that uh, what magnification does. The increase the retinal image size so that peripheral area of the retina can perceive it. Uh, this slide illustrated the effect of magnification. Higher the magnification, the bigger the image and the big, uh, bigger the retinal spread and the better uh, is the patient experience. We can help the patient suffering from the pathological myopia uh, and glaucoma etc. by increasing the illumination on the opposite Patients suffering from the albinism, anaridia, and acromatopsia use their residual vision is low illumination. Another aspect of light and image perception is contrast sensitivity. Contrast are more important to a visually impaired person than to a sighted person. A special orientation, daily living skill, and are heavily dependent on the contrast in the life of visually impaired person picture at bottom shows how everyday task look like to a patient with a disease like AMD or the glaucoma where there is a loss of contrast. Use contrast in distinguished utensil, contrast border to mark the edges of the doors and the window, contrasting cloth or the paper taped on the wall will help see wall from the distance and help prevent accidents door knobs and handles and light switches of contrasting color then door or wall avoid multicolored or pattern table cloth use single solid color cloth on the dining table these are the some conditions that needs low vision devices to improve residual vision these are amd progressive myopia uh, hmd albinism anaridia congenital optic atrophy etc and low vision aids are ineffective for the patient with severe PDR, uh, severe CRAO cases or severe uh, CRVO cases. Thank you very much.